Hi, I am Father Luigi at St. Anthony Church, and I am uh, one of the directors uh, for the Thunder Bay uh, Mission Society. I represent uh, the Diocese of Thunder Bay, and I have the honor not long ago to go to Mississauga uh, nearby Toronto for uh, the general meeting for all the Pontifical Mission Societies. Maybe I'm going to share with you something about the, what is the Pontifical Mission Society. That is divided in four parts. We have the Diocesan Society and the uh, Propagation of the Faith, the Society of St. Peter the Apostles, Holy Childhood or Children Helping Children, and the Missionary Union. So once a year we gather together to look into the future of the church and to look also into our uh, possibility to join this uh, vision of the church to propagate our faith, to bring the good news into the world. Because this is a mission not only for priests or for nuns, but for everybody baptized. It is a mission to share the blessing and the love of God wherever we are called to be. So talking about uh, this year is a special year because it's 400 years of the congregation for the evangelization of people that was started 1622. And that was the fourth century, is our fourth century of the foundation of uh, the congregation for the evangelization of people. The Pontifical Mission Society of Pontifical is that because it's related with the Pontifex, that is our Pope. So it's a mission that goes straight to the heart of the Holy Father in Rome. So 400 years, the Congregation of Propagation of the Faith, in collaboration with many religious uh, orders and congregation, and with the local churches too. We propagate the faith, what we believe, is the mission that we receive, as we know from the Gospel of Matthew and even Luke, to go and proclaim the good news wherever we are called to be. Is the news of the kingdom of God, is the news of the love of God for all of us. So we are all involved in this uh, uh, propagation of the faith, in this uh, good news for the kingdom. Also, this year records the 200 years of the Society for the Propagation of the Faith. We have uh, the, uh, our Pauline Marie Jericot, we can see in the picture here, is the announcement for uh, her uh, special year, May 22nd this year, she, in, La in Lyon, France, she was beatified. She is one of the founders of this propagation of the faith, society for all to bring good news in the world. So also it's 100 years of the pontifical statues that is uh, conferred by Pope Pius XI in the 1922, when he associate uh, this propagation uh, status of pontifical also to the, uh, as a society, to the holy childhood. Maybe we heard this name, children helping children. And uh, I, I have a picture also sharing the children too are involved in this uh, reality of uh, propagation of the faith. I see many activities in schools, even in the parishes, is that the children helping children to bring the good news. You know, these children, I have a special picture here that shows a child holding, holding the Bible, holding the Word of God, and happy to communicate the love of God wherever he is. You know, sometimes when we talk about our Children, helping children, is uh, an invitation for all of us to help our children at the level of school to understand how beautiful it is to share 
with other children in need in, a, in many different communities and start even at that age to be able to donate, to, be, to share what we have, the blessing and the gifts of God. You know, sometimes even we look into the missions, you know, this probably is the gathering of the church into Africa, and uh, there is no building, it's just people sitting around there, maybe under um, a mango tree, and this is the time that uh, probably supporting catechists and also priests to do, to bring the good news is an invitation for all of us to support this activity for propagation of the faith. So saying that, I believe that uh, we all are involved in this uh, activity. We are all called to go and proclaim the good news wherever we are called to be. To bring the love of God, to bring the, the name of Jesus for the people who doesn't know yet. And may this name be blessed in families, in uh, communities, in schools, in parishes, wherever the news of the love of God is spread in the world. Even this little picture here about the, the world in our hands is the cooperation of everybody to bring that good news and to support our uh, news of the kingdom of God. I would like to close uh, with a simple reflection that uh, our Pope Francis uh, uh, sharing with us and to the world because we are called to share, donate. When we love each other, the, the love is to will the good of others. And so he said, rivers do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruit. The sun does not shine on itself, and the flowers do not spread their fragrance for themselves. So living for others is a rule of nature, is a rule of our faith. And the mission society are doing this, sharing the love of God all over in the world. We're supposed to strengthen our faith too and support them and I close with a prayer that is related to the children, helping children. You know, the Mission Society a special collection is in October, the month of the missions. So I would like to read that prayer now. Jesus, throughout your life, you continually strove to spread the message of love and mercy. You were a true messenger and encourage us to be and to do the same. We cannot stop speaking about Christ's word and deeds. Help us to continue to understand the needs of children around the world who are less fortunate than ourselves. So help us to become aware of how we can be missionary in our daily lives. Through our action and what we say, encourage us to pray and to give what we can for helping other children. May the spirit of this special month of October help us to appreciate all that we have been given and motivate us to actively continue our missionary effort to help needy children. May we never stop speaking about Christ's works and deeds. Amen. And God bless you.